it in the mail MSX came from Japan Collecting without fail Those shoot 'em ups and That's the plan He doesn't just collect them He also codes them too Join us and we'll go on Electric Adventures With you Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with a little package in the mail. Um, it's from Melbourne. Um, fellow Australian collector has decided to downsize his collection um, and mainly he just you know run out of space and um, is quite happy to use um, you know flash cards and uh, you know keep his original consoles but use flash cards for the ROMs and things like that. Um, and this he had a few titles here that I was interested in and it actually harks back to a collection that I haven't um, that I was actually quite passionate about when I first started my channel about eight years ago um, got into it very heavily um, do really love the system and everything like that but found it too hard to continue collecting for the system so he had these particular titles available and I thought well I'm not going to get them um, and by the way they weren't that expensive his prices were quite reasonable um, I wasn't probably wasn't going to get another opportunity like this to get these particular titles. Um, so the system I'm sort of uh, talking about here is the Sega Master System. So it's a collection where I think I got up to 200 and oh, I've got to update my list. It's been so long I haven't even updated my list properly. Uh, 278 titles out of 301 for the worldwide set. Might have been 272, but I was very close. Um, and he also he's selling off his Mega Drive collection as well. I wasn't as interested in that one, but there was one particular title um, uh, that I um, I really wanted to play. Um, um, also related to the Amiga, and I'd probably never get a copy for the Amiga. So anyway, let's get the titles out of the box without giving away too much. So he's he's wrapped everything up very nicely. First title. So I said we're going to do the Mars system first. Now, this particular title I have played. I actually technically have it because it came um, inbuilt into the Sega Mars System 2 consoles. <coughs> oh, pardon me. But I don't have an individual copy. So it's none other than Alex Kid in Miracle World, which is the first Alex Kid title. Um, but because it was built into Sega Mars System 2s, um, in Australia, it's not a very common title, so it's a little bit hard to come by. <coughs> actually, quite a few of the titles I need to get in the set are actually um, ones that only came out in America. Um, it has its instruction manual and the cartridge, and they both look in pretty good condition. Um, oh, it's interesting, there seem to be two manuals as well, so... In two, two slightly different styles, but that's an extra bonus. There's enough, there is actually enough space in the manual thing to hold them in, too. So, you know, good old Mars System cartridges, they all look very much the same, except for the odd few. <coughs> Sorry, tickling my throat. So, another interesting one, and it's, um, it's not just a obscure title just for completing a collection. It's actually a really good game too. It was a brilliant game to have as a pack-in game. So another one, um, not a, uh, a dear one by any chance, it's just one that I've never uh, come across and it's the only Sonic title I didn't have. And it's also pinball related which is a bonus and it's Sonic Spinball. And it's the um, Australian one in the silver box too. Um, there's a slight bit of fade there, but nothing to worry about at all. Uh, no manual for this one. But once again, with my My System collection, never a problem um, with mine. I'm just happy for box and cartridge. Um, can always, you know, try and um, improve the manuals later, but I haven't really worried about that too much. So, actually, quite looking forward to playing that one. 
And this is probably um, one that I definitely thought I'd never have a copy of, and especially not for this price. I've never played it. I've actually never seen a video of it being played either. Um, and it is none other than the first Smurfs game. The Smurfs, or the Shmups, whatever it is. And it's in very good condition. I'm actually quite interested to see what it plays like. The only uh, Smurf game I've ever played is the one for the uh, Collect Vision. And there we go. So we actually do have a different label for this one and the manual. It all seems in uh, pretty decent condition. So I'm actually quite interested to um, see what this game plays like. The manuals there looks like it's a multilingual manual. It is indeed. So, a quite uh, you know not an easy title to get. And then for the Mega Drive, so this is a game that I wanted to play, and I was umming and ahhing, and then he he, he gave me a really good price. So. Um, I'm probably going to be absolutely rubbish at it though, so I'm probably going to embarrass myself. Um, now, apparently, so this is Mega Turrican. So apparently, um, and Darren's the fella's name, was telling me this is the same as Turrican 3 on the Amiga. Which is a game that I'll probably, you know, never find a copy of for real. So, I might as well try out the Mega Drive version. Those screenshots on the back look particularly nice. Now I do have uh, Turrican for the uh, Mega Drive, so once again no manual, but we have our cartridge and our original box. There it is there. For use only with PAL and French Seacam Mega Drive systems. Cool. I'm very much looking forward to playing that one. So some very nice additions to both my Master System collection and further progress towards my uh, Master System set. So just like I did in uh, my videos probably um, at least five years ago, down here we'll do an update of where I am with the collection. But don't expect the, that number to move forward anytime soon um, unless I do actually find uh, some of those um, titles from America. They're probably the best bet. To actually get a world set, you also need the titles that were produced in South America as well, and I've only ever seen those for sale in Australia once. I haven't really looked overseas very much. Um, so, and I don't have any of those particular ones, so I don't think I'll ever actually achieve a real world 301 uh, title set. But um, it's fun, the journey is what we do this collecting all about. Um, and I also like playing the games as well. So, without further ado, let's get some of these games into a Master System and a Mega Drive and give them a good play. Right, so here we go, Alex Kid in America World. Actually, really looking forward to uh, playing a Master System game. I've played one for ages. Uh, and interestingly enough, I turned the console on just to get it all set up. And I've got a Master System 1, so built in games um, hang on and actually play the game of hang on straight away. <laughs> Alright, so Alex Kidd in Miracle World, so it's the game that came bundled with the, Mega, the uh, Mars System 2, so 986, it's still very early in the Mars System days, and it was a bit of a mascot for the um, system, so we have our Alex Kidd, and as you can see, you can just see, you know, the, oops, the colour abilities of the Mars System. Right, so you basically bash boulders and... Uh, collect bits and pieces. I think I'll miss those. You don't have to collect everything.
spot. And I don't think you can land on top of enemies either. No, it kills me. Okay. You can tell I haven't played this game for a long time. after. So you go into the shop and you can buy stuff. Okay. Oh, you know what's awesome? Buy some sorts of stuff. What have I got? 270. see it's just a great little game uh, one that you could spend hours and hours and hours working your way through lots of levels as well um, obviously you've got four games to do so you can't overdo the gameplay time so no, I haven't played that for a very very long time for years um, and I've never had a separate copy either so um, and uh, none of my, my system 2's are modded so you have to put up the RF and things so very cool. Alright, let's try our next game. Alright, so here we go. Sonic Spinball, another game I've never seen a video of even, or obviously played. Um, and it's pinball rated, which is even better. So, let's do it in demo mode at the moment. That's pretty cool. I've always been quite impressed at how good the Sonic games are for the Mars system, considering they're backported. Story. Tails. Try and do a bit of a parallax scrolling thing there. So level 
one, toxic pools. Use the left and right buttons on the controller to control Sonic as the ball. Oh, there we go. Ooh, we've got a bit of a protection barrier thing going. Ooh, I'm back into the serving thing, that's alright. Oh, that would be silly. Again. As with all pinball things, it's getting used to what different shots will do. this later. Um, a pinball game for the Sega Mail system. Who knew? Alright, let's try our next game. Alright, so here we go with the Smurfs. I said, never seen a video or obviously played it. Let's go with English, which is the default. Alright, too many stinkers on the MR system. You're usually pretty safe with most games. What about the worst game I've encountered has been the Flintstones. Whereas most of the others have been a pleasant surprise. So three Smurfs have vanished. I just noticed my capture's a little low. I do apologise for missing the bottom line there. Okay, let's get it. Act one of the forest. Okay, so we jump, I'll 
button doesn't do anything just yet. Oops. I've managed to get killed already. Yep, you can bounce on things. There we go. That's what Mushroom help? No. Oh, there we go. Look, it did bounce on that. Can we go up there? No. Double jump do anything? not too good, is it? It's just the Electric Adventures reflexes. Aha, <laughs> you didn't get me that. No, 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 no. Oh, you can increase your health. There we go. seen a lot of videos on this so let's go again yeah, I'm curious what are the options they're all normal easy yes that's what we need pure beginner here <clears throat> I've got to figure out how to do that long jump.
I don't understand how to make that jump. Hang on. First jump, second jump, fine. Right, so I do, I need to go. Let her jump later. All right, so I do think you cover a bit more distance with the second jump. Like that. something to do with the second jump. Alright, we'll leave that with me to investigate some more. That's probably an absolute rubbish demonstration of a very good game and a very uncommon slash rare game as well. So, um, hopefully there's some videos out there that play a little bit of the maybe. Alright, that's all the Master System games, so let's get the Mega Drive out and try Mega Turrican. Alright, so here we go with Mega Turrican. Um, I've never played this game. I've never played Turrican 3 on the Amiga either. Already looks pretty good. Um, I do have an RGB SCART cable for my Mega Drive, um, which also gives stereo, but my capture card doesn't like that. So we're back to using a normal composite cable. So sorry, but slight reduction in quality and only mono sound because you know I'm sure the soundtrack would absolutely rock even more. So expect me to die a lot. Okay. Oh, do you not know the enemy patterns? Yeah, I'll just run into the fire and not dodge. Oh, that's useful for me. 
that I don't know the patterns at all. So, some very, very nice games added to the most of the Mars system, which I haven't had a game for such a long time, and the Mega Drive, I have had some Mega Drive games um, of recent times, and it's a system that I do love. I'm not collecting a full set for the Mega Drive, though. I'm just getting the games that I want to play, and usually only one at a time, just so I can enjoy them. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this pick up and play episode. I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.